Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, in this video, I wanted to talk about microtransactions in Rainbow Six Siege. Now, in this current state in Siege, we have the most cheating and a lot of bugs as there's ever been in this game, really. Um, a lot of major content creators and players are quitting the game for reasons such as this. And it's not really the best time for Siege from a gameplay aspect. I mean, we've had a good map rework, we've had good new operators, uh, from content wise it's been a good game, this new event is really fun, and the cosmetics that come with it are really cool looking. But from a gameplay wise, this season has been terrible, and that is for reasons like I said, with bugs and a lot of it's due to cheating. And I want to talk about in depth in this video more about the other aspect of Siege, which is the microtransactions and the different pay methods in this game. So what I bought in this game and I've been buying for the past three years is a year pass. Um, are year passes worth it? No, they're not at all. I'm an idiot for buying them. Um, they're really not worth the money that you pay for a year pass. And um, I have a problem with the microtransactions in this game. Now, before all the people go in the comments and say, oh, you don't have to buy it, they're not forcing you to buy it. I, I agree, they're not forcing me to buy it. but. I, I don't think that excuses some of the prices and different pay options that are in this game. Um, I bought the year pass, like I said, uh, before year 5 was even revealed, or just as it was being revealed. So I have access to all the operators that come out this year, uh, 7 days early before anyone else. I got an exclusive camo, I got some R6 credits, and I got an exclusive set for Jaeger. All pretty cool. But that was fine in the previous years, because, you know, we were getting all the content that was available at that time, we weren't really missing out on anything else. But as these new years and Siege have kind of evolved and we're getting more different types of content, um, it's starting to show that year passes aren't really worth it and there is starting to be way too many different pay options in this game and I really think Ubisoft really needs to slow down a bit and, you know, just take a step back and realise you're giving us this much content for free and it's very good that this game has a lot of free updates every three months you know it helps the game so much but on the other hand I, I understand that cosmetics you don't have to buy they're not really going to change it it doesn't change gameplay it's purely cosmetics and I understand that but we're at this point when I'm spending 25 pounds at the beginning of the year for a year pass and I'm still having to put more money into the game each season if I want to buy a battle pass. Now, I think the fact that the battle pass is sold separately is uh, extremely greedy and I'm just extremely against it and it does not really make me think much of Ubisoft when they do that. If they're going to push out a year pass and give us £25 for this pass, we'll give you these operators, but we'll make you pay separately each season for a battle pass, that should not be on. The battle pass in this game is lackluster as it is. Um, we have 35 tiers, which are completed extremely fast. You know, um, it take it, it does not take long to complete the tiers. Majority of the skins in each battle pass are very, very disappointing. Look at the last battle pass we had around the world. We were shown off amazing skins, but when you actually bought the pass and looked at the skins, they were just terrible recolors of the original skins. The only ones that kind of stood out were Valkyrie and Buck set, but other than that, the battle pass really was not worth it. And they're still expecting us to pay more money for that, and it just shouldn't be like that. The, if you look at other games that have battle passes like Modern Warfare, it is the same price or maybe cheaper to buy a Modern Warfare battle pass that lasts an entire season. You're getting a hundred tiers and that's all you have to pay. Everything else is free. You're getting, um, you know, the operators that you buy in that game are included in that and that you're not getting a gameplay advantage when you buy new operators in Modern Warfare. It's just a different person to play as. You still have the same weapons. And, you know, you buy a battle pass in Fortnite, you're getting that for a whole season. You're getting a hundred tiers. You're unlocking all this different stuff for it. You're getting your money's worth in my opinion. Siege, not on the other hand, I'm spending money at the beginning of the year for a pass, you know, and then they're still expecting me to buy a new battle pass every three months. There's only 35 tiers 
and it's going to cost me more R6 credits on top of what I've already paid. And now, this new event's out, it costs $70 to buy the entire set. Now, when I woke up and I looked at Twitter this morning, and I read this, and I <laughs> looked at everyone's reactions, um, I found it hilarious because, like I said, that's another paywall in this game, and I get it. Cosmetics don't have to be bought. You, you can play this entire game, get every operator without spending any R6 credits, any real life money. All you have to do is buy the core game, and it's good that you can do that. But I want to buy cosmetics. A lot of other people want to buy cosmetics. That doesn't mean you can put them as overpriced as they are. And I, I know, I know, I don't have to buy them, but I want to buy them. I want to get cosmetics. A lot of people want to get cosmetics. It's really fun buying cosmetics. A lot of these cosmetics are fun to buy. They look good. I get enjoyment out of buying them. I get enjoyment out of using them and showing off to my friends and getting new ones revealed and everything. They're fun things in the game. They're good aspects of, of the game. Many big games like this, one of the greatest things about them is different customizations, different camos, different uniforms, different headgears. But when we're at this stage that we're getting a year pass, and then a battle pass each season, which you have to pay for separately, and these packs um, each season, which you also have to pay for separately, there is a point when you have to step back and say, hold on a minute, you can't keep squeezing this much money out of us. In my opinion, this is how it should be done. You, if you buy the year pass at the beginning of the year, like I have done, you should get every battle pass for free. If you don't want to buy the year pass, you should have the option to buy that a battle pass per season. So maybe you only want one battle pass, you buy it that season. That's what you have to buy. But if you own the year pass, you should get all of them included in that year pass. Now, for the monthly, uh, sorry, for the seasonal events we're getting, the current one we have is a Grand Larceny. Um, I'm not saying you give us the full set, knock that price range down a lot. Um, no one's gonna, ha not many people have 300,000 renown and I know very few people who are willing to drop $70 just for cosmetics. So if you own the year pass you should get at least 10 or 15 packs for free as well. Um, it depends on how many is in the collection. I'm not saying give you them the entire collection but there needs to be way more benefits for having a year pass this game instead of just pushing out separate different paywalls at a time. There's three paywalls now. I say maybe paywalls isn't the best thing because you can still play the game. This game isn't pay to win, I wouldn't say. Some skins are, like the whole uh, Wind Bastion uh, skins and everything, and the Ember Rise one, I think that was a bad one. Those seasonal skins were pay to win, but a lot of them are getting like banned in pro tournaments and stuff. So that was just kind of like. Uh, it, it's not really like that for the most part. It was That was just kind of like an odd one out. Uh, when it comes to those skins but the year past really isn't worth it anymore if we're just going to have all these different cosmetics so um like i said if you own the year pass you should get all the battle passes for free and you should get at least some packs when you get these events because um i'm personally not going to buy any packs from these events if i've already bought the year pass and i'm not going to buy any more in-game cosmetics because i'm going to save my credits for the next battle pass and i don't think i should do that because i've already bought the year pass but that's what it is, and I think it should be changed for next year, considering that, um, you know, uh, the community isn't very happy right now. They're losing a lot of players, so they have to really step up and convince people to con continue supporting and playing this game, or this game is just not going to last. But that is going to end this video here. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you think there's way too many different microtransactions and paywalls in this game. Um, if you do like what you see, be sure to subscribe and uh, like the video if you did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.